All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. Today is Sunday, June 15th. Is it? Yes, today is Sunday, June 15th. <laughs> I'm an idiot. 2014. I'm Dark Side Phil. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the very last week in preview that you will ever see in the state of Connecticut. The last week in preview you will ever see here on the brown couch. And, uh... It's a pretty momentous occasion, a pretty momentous week, because ladies and gentlemen, this is the beginning of my final week in Connecticut as a Connecticut resident. In just a little over one week's time, I will be in the state of Washington in my beautiful new home with my girlfriend Leanna. We'll be starting the new adventure of our life together out there. And boy, what an adventure it's going to be because, uh, you know, getting everything situated, showing up that first night when there's literally nothing there, spending the week going out to try to find stuff to furnish the place, getting our new car, uh, you know, shopping for food, all kinds of stuff. And it's going to be an ongoing process. It's going to be a lot of work, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be worth it in the long run, both for us and for you as an avid viewer of my content and of my gameplay and everything that I do. I think that going out to this new home, having my own office for the first time, a better setup to actually do my work the way that I would love to have do done it all these years, you know what I mean, um, is going to be excellent. Now, immediately on the weekend preview tonight, you may be saying to yourself, something's a bit off, okay? Well, there's a couple things. First of all, as you can see, last night I had a rude awakening. I was sitting here on my couch kind of relaxing after after the final CT throwdown, which, by the way, we'll mention in a moment. But the final CT throwdown, I was so beat and tired, but it was, so, you know, after spending the day with everyone. And I'm laying here on the couch, and this whole thing rips, I swear to you. My CM Punk tribute plaque rips off the wall and lands perfectly where you see it now. And I have not even touched it. I said, I'm just going to leave it because it landed perfectly, wedged on my couch. And I'm just glad it didn't fly off the wall and land directly on my balls uh, because that might not have been too good. So it was funny because I'm taking all the paintings off the wall and to get ready to, to move. This one was self-removing, apparently. <laughs> so that's one thing. But the other thing that you may notice is that if you're listening to my voice, you know, there's a slight echo. You say, wow, it sounds like Phil's a little more echo than usual. Well, yeah, and that's because I actually today uh, spent most of the day, a good six hours of work with my parents, uh, packing stuff up, taking things down, cleaning the place up, breaking down furniture, throwing shit out, and the condo is transformed. It looks literally way different than it ever did uh, because all my stuff is either packed, well, not all my stuff, but a lot of my stuff is either packed uh, or or thrown out the decor or give it away. The decorations on the walls, a lot of them are gone. You'll see what I mean uh, because what I want to let everyone know is after tonight's weekend preview, I will not be doing a second stream. I am very tired and exhausted from all the work that I did today. But what I will do is walk around here with my camera and do a, some vlogs of how different the place looks and all the stuff that you know either was given away or is now gone. And you're going to be like, wow, you know, it's been a long time since the condo looked like that. And it really is a lot different. Okay. So, the week in preview. For the final week that I will be in Connecticut, what can you expect? Well, first, I have to start with obviously saying, I have to say so many special thanks to not only the people who attended and watched the final CT Throwdown stream yesterday, which on average had between 900 to 1,000 viewers at all times, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't expect that. I thought that people would say, ah, he's hanging out with his friends, they're bullshitting, oh, it's not perfect, you can't really hear them on the mic, they're just messing around with Street Fighter, they're not very good. I didn't think people would care. People cared. You guys turned out in droves, and I'm so happy that you guys hung out with us all day on Saturday. And I want to say special thanks to everyone who attended the event in person, including John Rambo, OJ, Howard, Joe, Justin, Drew, Kevin, and showing up very, very late, but showing up nonetheless, my friend Dion as well, who actually is the brother of my former, you know, really close friend T. Carter, who I've mentioned in a previous podcast. Unfortunately, he passed away when I was a teenager. So to see all these guys in person for one last time was a freaking fun and amazing feeling that these guys came out to hang out with me for the day. And uh, we had so much fun, really. And I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you, there'll probably be a few stories coming out 
of that CT throwdown that in the coming weeks to, you know, months, as we do things like Hate Live and stuff like that, I'll probably tell you guys these stories uh, of these guys, these people who I've spent my life with, and I'm not going to be seeing them at all, if ever again, in person. Now, of course, there's, I'm sure John Rambo, OJ, people like that, I'll be seeing again, but some of these guys I hadn't seen in years to begin with. And now moving out of Connecticut, I know for a fact that even though I'll try to keep in touch with them somewhat, we're going to lose touch at some point. And it just happens. That's life. Things change and things move on. And uh, it's unfortunate, but that is what happens. And uh, it was great. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, I know there were a few things that I had tried to plan with certain people. It didn't work out. Unfortunately, my friend Nestor was not able to come down from Boston, even though he wanted to so much. The same with the Arid Lord, Chris. He wanted to come down. That didn't work out. And I was actually trying to coordinate during this gathering to either play Ultra Street Fighter 4 with both of them or to have them call in on Skype and have a fun conversation. It just didn't happen. There was too much going on with the chaos of the day and people arriving at different hours and then the food and us switching games and getting bored, which I didn't expect. I thought we'd be playing Street Fighter all day, and these guys got bored and said, no, you got you got Mario Kart, you got Wii U Party, what are you doing? Let's play these and just have a lot of fun. And it was a lot of fun. So thank you for everyone who attended. Those videos, by the way, of the, what I did record, I didn't record 100% of the stuff we did during the day, but I'd say about 75 to 80% of it I did get to record, and that is uploaded right now to DSP Gaming, including... Ultra Street Fighter 4, really epic, probably hour and a half to two hours of gameplay of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, where some of us from back in the day face off against each other, which is pretty crazy. You don't see high-level Marvel vs. Capcom 2 gameplay anymore. And it was like we never skipped a beat. We remembered stuff that we were doing years ago. <clears throat> um, uh, after that, you know, like I said, Ultra Street Fighter 4, we got, went back to. Then we did more, uh, Mario Kart 8, four-player co-op, and then finally Wii U Party, or Wii Party U, whatever the hell it is. So check that out when you get a chance. Thanks to everyone who was on the stream live. It's been all, it was awesome, and uh, you know we very much appreciated your attendance. Okay, <clears throat> now let us talk about what exactly we are going to do this week because we've got a lot of stuff coming up this week. Even though it's a shortened week because my impending move is nigh, we still got a ton of cool stuff coming this week that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. All right, so first of all. Before we even get started with what's going to happen uh, tomorrow, tonight I will be recording some vlogs around here. So not only will you see the pre-stream and the weekend preview go live on the King of Hate vlogs tonight on YouTube, you're also going to see the vlogs of me showing you what the condo looks like now that a lot of stuff is gone and or missing or in the process of being moved. Okay, that's number one. Number two, tomorrow, this week, what I'm going to do, I did this last week and it seemed to be successful is that I have a large set of Street Fighter 4 or Ultra Street Fighter 4 videos from a stream of Ultra Street Fighter 4 that I did last Friday. Now that stream in particular had me playing with a certain characters that I thought that maybe could be more viable for competitive play, which I then ended up using during the final CT throwdown the next day. But I didn't upload any of those videos of the online multiplayer, it's a good four hours worth, to DSP Gaming. So over the course of this week, I'm not sure if it'll start on Monday, but at some point this week I'm going to start uploading those videos, and every day you'll see probably around 10 videos. I think I got almost 50, so you're going to see a lot of Ultra Street Fighter 4 again on DSP Gaming for the almost, what is it, the third week in a row now? So pretty good if you're a fan of that game and you're enjoying the, the, the footage, you're really going to enjoy this week again, okay? Alright, so what about gameplay on Monday? Live new gameplay? Well, I did beat Watch Dogs. I had the chance to actually complete the game. And I do want to do a review for Watch Dogs. At the same time, there's this one lingering thing that's been kind of open-ended for quite some time. And people are saying, Phil, when are you going to finally get back to Drakengard 3? That's right, this game which was over two weeks ago now that I was playing, and I'll be honest, it's not a great game. The gameplay is incredibly repetitive, right? The graphics are really live a lot to be desired, especially when it comes to frame rate. But I was enjoying playing the game with tongue-in-cheek humor and kind of making fun of it as we played, and I was getting pretty far, if I remember correctly, people are saying I got further than halfway into the game, and uh, people have been saying, when am I going to do this again? So the bottom line is this week, let's try to, f to finish up some unfinished business. So first stream on Monday will be Drakengard 3. 
I don't know how far I'll get. I doubt I'll beat it, but I'll probably get another big chunk into the game for those of you who've been waiting for so long for me to play Jack and Guard 3, okay? More than likely, I'm going to balance that with Ultra Street Fighter 4 footage so you get two different playthroughs that are uploaded that day, okay? Now, second stream on Monday will not happen. And I know for a lot of you, oh no, what the hell already, Phil slacking. No, I'm not slacking. I'm going to take the time during the time when I usually would do second stream to do two things. Number one, to actually film the review of Watch Dogs, which I beat on Friday. I'm very much looking forward to reviewing it. I just had to get around to it. Now I'm finally going to get around to it. By the way, I beat it on Thursday, not Friday, didn't I? Yeah, it was Thursday. So, <clears throat> I'll be filming the Hateful Truth review of Watch Dogs uh, this coming Monday night. And then, after that, I'm going to be busy packing again. Yes, I need more time to start doing more packing. And so this week, I will be taking time out from time to time to do packing. And Monday night's going to be part of that. So, first stream Monday, Dragon Guard 3. Second stream Monday is going to be me filming the Hateful Truth review of Watch Dogs and uploading it and also packing. Okay, so you're not going to see that on stream. There is no second stream on Monday. Tuesday, we've got a new release which I'm going to be getting day one digital on the PS4. It is UFC. I don't know if there's a year in there. I just know it's called UFC. Starring Bruce Lee as the special character. And I haven't played a UFC game in several years. Looking forward to doing it. Debating whether or not if I should bring Drake Has No Talent into it or if I should make a new character. Um, and it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. People are saying the graphics look great. And I'm really looking forward to UFC this coming Tuesday. And I'll do that on my first stream. Now, my second stream Tuesday is going to be highly dependent on how far did I get in Dragon Guard 3. If I beat it on Monday, then never fear. If I didn't beat it, then it's probably going to be second stream on Tuesday, okay? Um, now, let's say I did beat it. Well, there is another thing that I may want to do a final set of before we go on a long hiatus here for my move. It's a game that a lot of people were enjoying, but honestly, it was starting to drag out and not a lot was going on. But I think after several weeks of a drought from it, I am interested in possibly doing one more set of it this week. The game I'm talking about, of course, is Homeland, the complete second season. No, that's not it. That was just on my coffee table. MLB The Show 14. So there is a chance that I'll play some MLB The Show this week as well, regardless of the fact that most people were falling out of love with it. It's been a lot of weeks now. Maybe some people would be reinvigorated to see it, okay? So that's going to be Tuesday. UFC and either Dragon Guard 3 or MLB The Show. Wednesday, same deal. UFC first stream, and then if I beat Dragon Guard 3, The Show. If not, more Dragon Guard 3 on second stream on Wednesday, okay? All right. Hopefully... Here's what I'm hopefully hoping here, is that by the end of this week, when I say that, I mean Thursday, that I've played a ton of UFC, two main streams, you know, we're talking probably anywhere from 6 to 10 hours of the game already. Hopefully I've beaten Drakengard 3, okay? And the plan is, if all that is the case, what I may be doing is a special stream on Thursday. It's going to be the final stream that I ever do in Connecticut, and I may be going to have some surprises on stream, things that I won't even necessarily record for YouTube because I don't think YouTube would allow it. There are a few cool, iconic things in my life uh, that I want to share with you, things that actually have personal meaning to me that I've never really been able to share with you because, you know, in some cases the opportunity never came up. In some cases, a lot of you guys might recognize some of the stuff that I might want to show you, okay? So we'll see. We'll see about that. But that's hopefully what I'm likely thinking to do is doing that first stream on Thursday. And that's it. That will be the final stream that I do while I'm in Connecticut. And uh, you might be saying, well, wait a minute. Well, what, what? That's fine, but what are you going to do? Just talk sentimentally about stuff? No. It's going to be gameplay, and the gameplay is going to be Ultra Street Fighter 4. Because it's going to be my last chance to play that game in a couple weeks. And like you guys know, I'm liking it. I'm really liking Ultra Street Fighter 4. I'm getting into it again. I'm getting back into Street Fighter shape. In a lot of cases, and I really want to play more of the game. So, what I'm thinking is it'll be a stream where I share personal stuff with you guys. Maybe show you some things that I couldn't necessarily show you on YouTube here on stream. And then I play some Ultra Street Fighter 4, which will be recorded and uploaded at a later date to YouTube. Okay? So, if you would at all like to see the final stream this Thursday, it should be special. Now, the reason I say that it's the final stream is because on Thursday... My girlfriend and her mom are driving here in a U-Haul truck with all my girlfriend's stuff in it. And then we're going to spend the rest of the day moving that stuff in here, 
going to dinner, and then going to sleep. And basically, as of that st that stream Thursday, whenever it ends, and it may end early, because it all depends on what time my girlfriend shows up, whenever it ends, that is the final gameplay stream in Connecticut, period. It's over. That's it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Clear this place out. We're full speed ahead for the move to Washington. Now, the way that's going to work is that that Thursday, my girlfriend's going to be here to, and we're going to move all her stuff in. And her mom's staying at a hotel that night. That Friday, I'm driving her mom to the train station. She's on her way home. That whole day Friday, my girlfriend and I will do final preparations with packing. Maybe we'll want to go get some food at some local places that we're saying goodbye to for the final time. And, you know, whatever we will feel like doing that day. There may be vlogging. I may vlog stuff around here, okay? Either Saturday or Sunday, the movers are coming, and I don't know when yet. I have to find out tomorrow. I actually have to call the moving company and confirm when exactly these movers are coming. So obviously, whenever they're coming, they're coming. They're here. They're going to take the stuff. They're going to move it out. What I'll probably do again is another final vlog of the place when it's empty again. It'll look literally almost just like it did on day one when I moved in, except a few things are staying behind, such as this couch, the coffee table. The iconic things you've seen in my videos are actually staying because there's no reason to bring them across the country. They're old. They're worn out. Uh, I wouldn't probably be able to use them. I don't need the coffee table to lift up anymore, right? Because I'm not going to be using any of that kind of stuff to, for filming on, on the table or anything anymore. I'm going to have my own office from now on. So, interesting, but yes, it has to happen. So that's going to be either Saturday or Sunday. Now, once there's nothing here, right? Once the TV and everything is gone, we're going to have bare bones stuff. We're basically going to have my laptop, a Blu-ray player. We will have internet still. So what I'm thinking is on Sunday, uh, what we may do is the final vlogs, and I'll try to upload them that day. And that is it. As of this Sunday, it's basically a blackout until Tuesday because that Monday we're actually going to be doing our final things here in Connecticut, trading in my car to the car dealership to get it out of here, dropping off the keys with my parents, trading in the cable boxes and the cable modem with my internet provider and then finally getting a ride from my mom's house over to the airport and we are on our way to Washington now the cool news is we will be recording we will be vlogging out in Washington State everything that you know that we're doing that day walking into the house for the first time seeing how it is gee what are our living conditions for that first night yada 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 okay however we will not have internet until the next day uh, Comcast is scheduled to come out that next day to install both our personal internet line and our business internet line, which is the high-speed dedicated line just for my business purposes of recording, live streaming, and uploading. Now, fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed that the actual speeds that the internet provider is promising me I get and that also that they don't throttle my internet, which a lot of people seem to complain about, but I've talked to many people now in Washington State who say no, Comcast does not throttle internet there, especially business internet. They do not, because you're already paying the extra money for that bandwidth usage. And uh, and let's also hope, and this would be awesome, I don't know if it will come to fruition, that that internet is good enough that I can live stream and upload videos at the same time, because that would mean almost live, I could be doing a playthrough and then uploading the videos at the same time, and people on YouTube don't feel like they're far behind the streams, right? The problem right now is I was supposed to have that capability with my current internet, but my current internet is not reliable at all. It has all kinds of problems, frame rate drops, issues, all kinds of shit that happen because the internet here is wonky and the infrastructure is fucked up, and my internet company is not willing to figure out how to permanently solve my problems here. So thank God, as of this week, I'm out of here and I don't have to deal with that shit anymore, right? Finally. So, the good news is, even though starting that Sunday, there's basically blackout, no more videos, no more streams, no more internet. And that Monday of June 23rd, you'll hear nothing. June 24th, I should have internet in Washington. And what we'll be doing is show, uploading all those vlogs, right, that we did, the travel vlogs to move out there, what the house looked like for the first time. And then over the course of that first week there, when we don't have any of our stuff because the movers are busy traveling across the country to deliver the stuff, we are going to be vlogging all kinds of things, including things that we're going to purchase to, to furnish the home. Our choices in design, what we're doing with each room, we'll show you what our plans are for each room. We'll finally investigate the supposed leak in the ceiling and see if it really exists or not and what's going on with that. There's going to be tons of stuff to be doing for the first time. How do I use the garage? How do I do this? How do I do that? It's going to be wild. 
and I cannot wait to get out there and start my life, first of all, with my girlfriend, our own personal reasons, obviously being able to live together finally is going to be great, to start our own adventure together. I told you this, guys, before, but I felt like I'm kind of a prisoner here in Connecticut my whole life to be able to get the fuck out of here and finally live somewhere else, and I feel like I'm really starting my life for the first time. That's going to be an awesome feeling. Just for work-wise, once the office is set up and I get a new PC, which I'm planning on doing sooner rather than later, and I get a dual monitor set up and I have a better setup for console games, it's going to be, trust me, guys, it's going to be so much better to be in a new place all the new experiences, the new vlogs I'm going to be able to do, the new series. I've already started talking. I have all the equipment that I need to make a famous pot, a famous pot, a pot of my famous family recipe, Italian sauce and or cooked meatballs and meat. That's going to be an awesome vlog where I'm going to show you guys step by step how I do it and the process. And it's cool because it's a day long process, but I can be streaming gameplay between when I have to go stir the sauce while it simmers. Oh, there's so much stuff I cannot wait to do once I get freaking out there. Seriously, I cannot wait. So. So. That is the deal for this week, guys. So there will be a lot of gameplay between Ultra Street Fighter 4 videos, Guard 3, the possibility of a last session of MLB uh, 14, the show, and uh, UFC, obviously, starting on Tuesday. The vlogs that I'm going to do tonight and throughout the week of the different process of what's going on with the move. And finally, a final stream in Connecticut to stick a fork in it where I'm going to share private and personal stuff with you that I hope that you will appreciate all while I'm balancing it with gameplay of Ultra Street Fighter 4. It's going to be a great freaking week. It's a necessary week. It's a massive step forward for me in my life. I cannot fucking wait. That's how pumped I am. Let's do this, okay, everyone? So... That is it for the weekend preview, the final weekend preview ever to be held in Connecticut. I thank you whether you are a longtime fan or whether you are a relative newcomer, whether you're here because you casually watch my vlogs or if you watch all of my content, you guys have been fucking amazing since day one. And I want you to know that you, this move is not only because of me, but I fully understand it is because of you and your help and your support and your continued viewership even though the fact that the entire internet mentality has changed from we would love to see someone just play a game casually and have honest reactions to oh my god this guy has to be a perfectionist and he has to do everything perfect and edit his videos for hours so that he edits out his fails and it's a short abridged nice streamlined pray through because that's how it's done if it's not done like that it's wrong fuck it this is the mentality of the internet in 2014 way different than when I started back in 2008. But I am lucky enough to have enough fun, intelligent, dedicated fans and viewers that you guys know that there's not one fucking right or wrong way to do anything and that there's lots of ways that you can have fun with life. To me, the life has been about enjoyment, not about being a fucking perfectionist and the best at everything you do. No. If you can go through life and laugh a lot and be positive and have fun... That's what life is fucking about. Not being the one perfectionist asshole who has to have the best absolute gameplay, super highly edited videos. I've never been about that. Since day one when I started in 2008, I haven't been about that. But you guys know that. You stuck with me. And this move is because of your dedication as much as it is my hard work. So thank you everyone so much for making this possible. I promise you that once we're out there... I'm going to do my absolute best to make sure that I can continue to bring you entertaining streams and videos on demand on a daily basis for as long as I possibly can. We'll see what happens, you know what I mean? But for now, for the foreseeable future, things are looking bright. I'm very happy. I hope you're as happy as I am. And I cannot wait for the future, this adventure that lies ahead of us. So that's it for the Week in Preview. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I really hope to see you for gameplay this week. It's quite a momentous week with new releases and everything else. And that final stream is going to be sweet. Thank you, everybody. See you for gameplay. See you for extra vlogs, especially this week. Peace out.